talents and a passion for bringing solutions to address all of these different challenges that we are facing as a country. And I am the one that has that kind of background and experience. They want someone who can offer real solutions to real problems, as I have done at the State House. They want someone who has government and private sector experience that can find the best of both worlds and put them together in order to create new jobs and strengthen our economy. What I, what I also heard, and what I heard more than anything else, however, was that people want someone to win, someone who can beat Scott Brown. Now, everybody in this room knows that I have a track record. And I would, I would posit that I have, I'm the only candidate in this race who has a track record of beating a popular incumbent Republican. I know how to beat him. I know Scott Brown because as soon as I won that race in 2006, I went and met him. And it became very clear to me that he had considerable weaknesses and uh, a, a lack of focus on really uh, helping people in need and offering real solutions and real analysis and real problem solving skills to help all of us have opportunities in this country. And I would like the opportunity. And then I also know, I guess, as I think about his past and what I've been able to accomplish up at the State House, that I got more done as a freshman legislator up at the State House than he did in all 12 of his years up at the State House. And I would throw in the last 18 months that he spent. <laughs> the so if you give me the chance, if you give me the chance to win this Democratic primary and allow me to go head to head with him in the debate, now let us compare, let the people of Massachusetts compare my breadth and depth of experience and understanding on the issues that we all care about, job creation, preserving our environment, improving excellence in our school systems, rebuilding our infrastructure, creating new opportunities for people, rebuilding that middle class, addressing our financial challenges and our budget deficits. If you allow me to, to get in a room and talk face to face with him in front of the people of Massachusetts and compare our voting records where he is voting almost 90% of the time with radical Republicans down in Washington, not in the best interest of the people of Massachusetts. And we can compare my considerable list of accomplishments to his empty list. I have confidence that the people will see that he's nothing more than an empty suit next to me. And that is one of the reasons that I believe I am the Democratic Party's best hope to win back this seat and to win this seat from Scott Brown and bring it back into and offer a voice for the people and their priorities and, and offer a winning path forward for this Commonwealth and this country and all of you. And that's why I'm running for United States Senate. That's why I want your support. I, I really want to thank everybody for coming and um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that folks have. So thank you. Sort of the you know the elephant in the room is Elizabeth Warren. Sure. You know, maybe you want to address that and how, how you want to go about uh, positioning yourself against her. Well, uh, it's a good question. It's a very relevant question. Um, I think Elizabeth Warren is a is a very smart woman. Um, she's an accomplished woman. I think she would have been great at the Consumer Finance Protection Board. I think that was the right job for her. She didn't get it for reasons that uh, you know are, are probably more complex than any of us uh, understand. Um, it's it's still uh, very early in the race, very unclear uh, how she's going to be out there campaigning, whether or not she's going to connect to the people. Um, it's it's an open question. I think it's still very early. The, the Democratic primary is on September 18th, 2012. It's September 21st. We've got 332 days to go, so let's, let's give it some time. Right. So I guess you'll, you'll want an opportunity to... Uh, We're debating. October 4th. Okay. Streaming live. Uh, it's UMass Lowell and Boston Herald. Um, I'm not sure which website it's going to be on, but check both of those if you want to see it. It's at 7 o'clock. I think it's 7 to 8 30 or 7 to 9, something like that. Uh, that will be a good opportunity to have people see side by side what I can offer and, uh, and what she offers. Another one uh, about the Tea Party. I mean, 
I think all of us have been surprised by how destructive the Tea Party's been and how rapid that destruction has set in. And, you know, if you get a chance, how are you going to address that, them down in Washington and their constituents? Well, it, wouldn't it be great if the election were actually closer than uh, 15 months away and we could vote the Tea Party out 